Smart contracts are one of the many things that make cryptocurrencies so much more functional than traditional currencies. Agrello is taking smart contracts to the, to the next level by allowing anyone, not just coders, to easily build them and maintain them. I'll let Hando, the project lead of Agrello, explain further. For those people that are only kind of slightly familiar with Bitcoin uh, and may not know a whole lot about smart contracts, could you at first just go over uh, you know, the quick and dirty of what a smart contract is and how it works? Uh, so I would say currently the, the idea of the term smart contract is not properly defined yet. First, uh, it was in one research in uh, 19, uh, 1994 when it was first mentioned, and there it was said to be a code which can execute contract terms. So a program code. And how it has now happened after, after the emergence of Bitcoin, we, uh, we were introduced to what is a, a blockchain, a, a distributed blockchain, where there are all the nodes all around the world which synchronize the same ledger uh, to keep it secure and not tampered. Then uh, in 2014, uh, Ethereum emerged, emerged with the idea of uh, smart contracts. Uh, that meant that the, the, the block you put into the blockchain, it carries this smart contract, which basically is um, program code. It's called Solidity. And um, this is registered, this is put into the blockchain and it will act according to what's written inside the code. Uh, either it has some kind of condition uh, that when it's fulfilled, it will transfer some money uh, or so on. And uh, this goes into the blockchain and it accords, it, it, it acts uh, accordingly to that and no one can really tamper with it because all those blockchain miners, uh, Ethereum miners, uh, keep it untampered uh, thanks to the blockchain technology and I would say something uh, not only cryptocurrencies came with blockchain technology first there was Bitcoin but but uh, a lot of really interesting other use cases can be uh, uh, can be exploited from the features of blockchain and uh, this is where we try to bring some different kind of value to, to the blockchain technology with Agrello. Yeah, great. So could you talk a little bit about what Agrello does, um, kind of the elevator pitch of what Agrello is? So we're uh, trying to automate as much as possible the contractual relationship process. We have uh, figured out a way how to put together a contract in text that it could automatically compile into program code and then AI agents can understand the contract terms. And then when it comes to uh, contract execution, uh, the AI agents can push information to the parties, what to do, what are the risks. Uh, so uh, creating this constant awareness. And thanks to this technology, you can also integrate IoT devices and uh, and payment solutions for auto, even automatic uh, performance of the contract. Yeah, so could you go uh, a little bit into how Girl uh, makes this so much easier, kind of the GUI interface you have? Yeah, so uh, our, our first goal is to set up this peer-to-peer -peer business platform where people can put up their service and not really worrying about uh, the legal side, getting the contract somewhere and so on. And then uh, people who want to receive a service can easily receive the service. And how we want to make this work is that we, um, we involve the community of specialists who can put contracts together. And uh, they will load their contracts into uh, the community repository where it's shown when this contract was updated and uh, uh, to which region it's localized to. And uh, when people just want to provide a service, they are matched uh, a contract template. 
And uh, with a few clicks, they get this contract template done, insert some uh, necessary data, and uh, then can renegotiate, can modify the contract a little bit if we want. We can choose another template. But the idea is that specialists uh, pre-make those contract templates and people who just want to provide the service and don't want to hassle with the legal part uh, are offered the, the best legal basis to it with the technology. And when uh, the contract is signed, uh, then you will have everything on your heart. And if you use a mobile phone, everything in your palm, uh, showing the current status of the legal relationship, showing all the tasks the parties have to do, and really comprehensively guiding you through this. And if there are any any conflicts, the AI agents can suggest suggest possibilities uh, what you can do. Yeah, that's going to be extremely helpful in a whole lot of situations. Uh, so, Absolutely. Yeah. So, what is what does the roadmap look like for you guys? Uh, when are you mm -hmm. going to be launched? What can we expect in the next year or two from you? Yeah. So um, currently, as I'm aware, we uh, would like to get the kind of MVP or first first beta release uh, out there in September. We will have some closed betas in the middle of summer. Uh, at least we have something ready so we can play with it. And uh, after September, we hope to release something for the crowd because we kind of have the idea to throw it into the wild. See what happens. See what how users can really what, what kind of use cases they start to solve with this. Because uh, we see there is a lot to solve with this kind of technology, and it's really uh, difficult to find the, the first use case. However, we have one. We are starting with rentals, real estate rentals. Uh, probably there will be also loan contracts and uh, sales contracts then. Uh, but the current roadmap is. Yes, September we have set to release. Uh, before that, we um, we are releasing our white paper. Uh, I hope this week it's almost ready. It's pretty thorough. Uh, it's scientific. It shows technical details, and uh, we'll have a new website coming soon. And also, um, also uh, we will launch our token sale in in the next month in July. And more information on that will be through agrello.org, org. and uh, if, if people subscribe to the newsletter there, they can get instant information about it. Yeah, that's great. Well, if you guys are uh, looking for people for the closed beta test, let me know. Yeah, great. But uh, sure. yeah, so uh, one last question for you today. What are kind of your thoughts on you know, blockchain technology and the cryptocurrency world in general? I mean, where do you kind of see things going in the next couple of years for all of us? Um, so the current status is that the, the blockchain world is mostly focused on the token sales. A lot of tokens being launched and sailed, huge amounts of money being raised. So uh, a lot of those projects are really, really interesting. However, a lot of them, we see that there are more in it there for this uh, bunch of money. So. Uh, a lot of investment is done really quickly. They they kind of see that this industry is rising anyway, so it's it's a little bit of a bubble, let's say. But I I hope that in in the coming couple of years uh, we see this uh, space maturing. We see um, ap applicable solutions in the practical world. Uh, I really hope that digital identity is something where Blockchain is something where digital identity can emerge globally. So I hope there are already many projects on this. So I hope that uh, blockchain identity will come, a global blockchain identity uh, during the coming years. And uh, it's really hard to contemplate generally what, what will happen, but I'm expecting maturity, I'm expecting practical applications, and the kind of Token sale uh, system for to fund projects is really interesting because uh, it uh, gives more way for innovation because um, uh, 
if you do regular VC investment systems with equity, the VC investors are more into a quick exit. They want to sell the company as soon as possible to get a, get a return. However, in uh, with the token sale model, uh, you buy those tokens, and if the company does well, you, the token will appreciate appreciate and thus the returns. So uh, the founders can keep on innovating. Don't have to think about how to sell this company and so on. So uh, they can bring out some new, really interesting solutions. And once this uh, kind of token sale uh, uh, sphere matures, we will see a lot of great uh, projects coming out more and more. There you have it. Check out agrello.org to find out more and to keep up with the team to know when their beta gets launched. Uh, while you're here on this channel, here are a few more videos that you might enjoy. Thanks for watching.